Let's consider this Boolean expression here, f equals a or not a and b. I'm going to see if I can minimize this expression. And to do that, I'm going to produce a truth table, and I'm going to build up a truth table to represent a or not a and b. And I'm going to build this truth table up one column at a time. So let's just draw the truth table here. Here we can see we have the incomplete truth table, and I'm now going to see what goes in each column. And I'm going to start off with the first column, not A column. Here we can see that when A is a zero, it means that the not A will obviously be the opposite of that, which will be a one. Now we can have a look at when A is a zero again, and of course in these circumstances, the not A will be a one. If we come here, we can see A is a one, consequently not a will be a zero and the final row we can see a is a one and of course not a will be a zero now what we need to do is to have a look at this column here which is the not a and b column and of course that column is the anding together of these two columns here so let's take each one in turn when i have b as a zero and not a as a one and I and those together, then obviously they will give me a zero. So a zero will go here. Now I can see in the next row here that these two columns have B as a one and not A as a one. And obviously that will give me a one here because when I and two ones, I get a one. Now this particular entry here is showing me when B is a zero and not A is a zero, and that will give me a zero. If I now have a look at this entry when B is a 1 and not A is a 0, then obviously that will give me a 0. Now I come on to the last column, and this column is going to look at the A column, and it's going to look at the not A and B column. And on this occasion, we're going to OR together these two columns. So let's have a look at this entry when A is a 0 and not A and B is a 0. Now when you OR those, well obviously, when you are two zeros, the output is a zero. If I now have a look at this, when A is a zero and not A and B is a one, then if I or a zero and a one together, i.e. zero or one, then I will get a one. If I look at these two, when A is a one and not A and B is a zero, and I or those together, I will get a one. The final entry I'm concerned with is this one here, when A is a one and not A and B is a zero and 1 or 0 gives us a 1. Now that's the truth table complete for this Boolean expression here. Now I've just added on here an extra column, and this column is A or B. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to OR together these two here, when A is a 0 and B is a 0, and obviously that will give me a 0 here. If I now have a look at the next two, when A is a 0 and B is a 1, then obviously a 0 or a 1 will give me a 1. If I now have a look at these two, when A is a 1 and B is a 0, what I will now get is 1 or a 0, which is a 1. And the final one is here, when A is a 1 and B is a 1, and 1 or 1 gives us a 1. What we can see quite clearly is that this column here and this column are identical. The consequence of that is we can come up here now and say that this gives us the same as A or B. So it is reasonable to say that f equals a or not a and b will actually minimize to a or b. So if I now come down here and see if we can produce what I would describe as a rule for this, not a rule in the formal sense, but something that we can use when we're looking at Boolean expressions. If we see this, if there's a variable by itself, then what it will do, it'll knock out its opposite that occurs in any anded term. So if we look here, we can see the not A and the B are anded together, and that means that this one will actually get knocked out. So we end up with A or B. Now the previous video showed us this. It showed us if I have F equals A or A and B, then in fact, on this occasion, the A is by itself, and what that will do, it'll knock out all of this and that becomes an A. But these are quite useful identities here. Useful things that we can find, we can apply to various Boolean algebra expressions. 
Here we can see a Boolean expression and we can see that A is by itself. Now we're going to use the fact that that's by itself. We then look at the AND terms in the expression and we can see that there are four. If we look at the first one, we can see that this has a NOT A. Consequently, that can be knocked out. If we have a look at this, we can see that's A and B, and it contains an A, which is the same as the variable that's by itself. So all of that goes. We can see that contains the NOT A. Consequently, that goes out. And finally, we look at this A and C, and we can see that that contains the A, which is the same as the variable by itself. So all that gets knocked out. We now can rewrite F down here as F equals, well, we write down the A again. Now that's odd with the B because the not A has been knocked out. And then finally, we can see we have the C by itself. So we can see that the original Boolean expression has been minimized to A or B or C. If we now have a look at this example, the first thing we can see is we have a not A by itself. Now what this not A will do, it'll knock out every anded term that contains a not A. And we can see that that is contained here, so that gets knocked out. It's contained here, so that gets knocked out. But then we can go on and see that we have this, which is A and B. And under these circumstances, we just knock the A out. And if we have a look at this final AND here, we can see that contains an A, so that gets knocked out. And we end up with F being minimized to NOT A, or, while the B is left, ORD with the C. And that's the minimized expression for the Boolean expression immediately above. Let's now have a look at this particular expression here, f equals b or a and b or not b and c. On this occasion, we can see that the variable that's by itself is the b. Consequently, we're able to knock all of this out because it contains b. Whereas with this, we can only knock out the knock b. Consequently, we can write down that f is b or c. So the Expression above we can see minimizes in this occasion to be or see.